All right. Welcome back again, Dave Wright, the capitalist. <laughs> We're going to go over some more crypto stuff here. Uh, if you're just joining me, I'm back after a hiatus. When I want to be able to spit out content now. I basically have my desk set up where I have a mic right here, podcasting equipment right here, two screens to work off, lighting set up all the time, beautiful camera. It's time to use it. It's time to inform people. So today I want to do a video here. I'm over on, it's another DeFi video and I'm over on Twitter and I follow Beefy, which is a great decentralized finance hub. They're like an aggregator. Um, they're a middleman to help you find like deals and stuff to get collect fees. And one of the things that was hitting pretty big last week was Miggles. It's a meme coin. So if we go over to, I thought it would be good to show you how I research whether or not I want to get into a particular move. So if you're over on Beefy, and this is just my Beefy account here, I have a couple thousand dollars in here. I'm making about uh, $900 a month, $30 a day with just a couple of moves. And I want to show you how I find some of these new deals. So these, first of all, right here, if you look up on the beefy thing, this is like a spreadsheet where you can filter. And let me just make sure this is recording properly. All right, you got to bear with me here, guys. Bear with me. Because <laughs> I'm just starting to, I'm starting to get the hang of the filming and the recording and stuff. And if you remember me from back in the day, I don't like editing and stuff. I don't like the fancy music and the drone flyovers. I just want to give you some information. If you find me likable, follow along. We'll work together. I'll show you some of this stuff. Uh, and if not, no big deal. So uh, make sure to always check the description here because I'm also, not only do I have this channel, which is Dave Wright, the capitalist, which I'm going to be doing crypto and Amazon stuff and some real estate investing stuff. But I have my philosophy channel, which is Dave Wright, the thinker. But back to the desktop share here. When you're in the vaults here, so you're going to be on beefyfinance.com and you're in the vault, you're going to have a wallet. I'll make some videos. I'm going to be doing a... Back to the talking head. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some videos with a up-and-coming uh, comedian. He is a great guy named Dalton Pruitt. We're going to be doing a little podcast here called the idiot investor we're going to be filming it thursday night so today is wednesday the 24th our first episode it's going to be filmed tomorrow night i'm going to have a syllabus and an outline that i'll put on dave right the so you can follow along it's going to be about the basics of crypto i'm going to work you through crypto nft cold wallets hot wallets chains cross chains bridges learn all this technology why it's important, and then work our way up to DeFi so that you, you, if you're an individual here that would like to start earning, you know, it doesn't have to be $900. You can do the math here. Let me get a sip of water. Mm. Ah. I forgot this wasn't pure water. It's actually my salt water from after my workout today. That was interesting. So you can do the math. I have like 7,500 deposited and I'm making about $1,000 a month. So if you were to do, you know, one-tenth of that, you'd be making one-tenth and so on and so forth. But we're on this site and I have a MetaMask that I use as my uh, Web3 wallet that connects me to sites like this. And the chains that I like to use or that the MetaMask will do for me is Ethereum, Polygon, BNB, which is the Binance, uh, Optimism, Phantom, uh, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Base, and Linea. And I actually don't want to do any Ethereum, straight up Ethereum, but it's just a lot, of, it's expensive. But what you can do is you can come onto this page and look at all the coins and stuff, and you can sort them by lots of different stuff. You can look at just stable coins, which are coins that are pegged to usually the US dollar or the yen or a, uh, a fiat currency. 
or something. It's pegged to something that keeps it in a particular range. And so they don't go up and down much. They're not volatile. You can look at blue chips. And blue chip coins are like uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, um, Cardona, anything that's a high-end uh, coins. But if we just go back here and we... Uh, so yeah, so here we go. So if I I had stable coins and blue chips, so you look here, you have wrapped Ethereum, Bitcoin, BNB, which is the Binance um, exchange coin, Maddox, more Maddox, Uniswap, ETH. So these are all the the blue chip stuff. But what I thought was interesting is if we look at and then correlated means. If you have two assets and you're going to pair them together, if they both tend to go up, like if Bitcoin goes up, ETH usually goes up, and if Bitcoin goes down, ETH usually goes down, and then you have some um, coins and tokens that go against each other. And like if Bitcoin goes up, they go down. So the correlated correlation is important long term. That's something we would get into in DeFi when I do some of the programs with uh, Dalton. But anyways. Check this off here. So what, what's interesting for me is if I just take this APY and you go up, you can see here that the number one on the base chain, and I really like base chain. They got some monsters going. There's a thing called Miggles ETH. And I don't know what Miggles is. It's on the Uniswap network. But it's giving six seven 764% APR. So APY is the... Uh, annually, and APR is if that was compounded daily. So that's just an enormous fee, 764% returns. So let's just get into a little bit. So these are the blue chips. The blue chips, uh, these are the blue chips. These are ETH. These are Bitcoin. These are stable. People know about these. Something like Miggles is new to the market. It's most likely a meme coin. That's why these interest rates are so high. But I just wanted to show you what I would do if I come across this and I want to put some money into it. So the first thing that's kind of crazy with Miggles is that the T the TVL here that's locked is a quarter of a million dollars is locked in Beefy. And then if you look under it, it's 2.21 million Uh is locked on the Uniswap. So if we were to open this up here on the base, it's making 2% a day. This is just real this is really crazy. So what you would do is you would go to the Miggles website to take a look at this thing. When you posted <laughs> Mr. Miggles afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started right, popping so up in other good. places. <laughs> Mr. Miggles was going viral, and at first it was fun, and it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the reward? Oh, this is hilarious. So let me read you on this for a second. So, so a couple of things here is uh, you can see over here that it does have a telegram and it does have a twitter so if you click on twitter it'll bring you up to mr miggles page here let me follow <laughs> mr miggles on base this is hilarious and if you click on the linkedin tree you can see there's all this stuff where you can go check out if it's legit so we're on the website here's the deck screener that's good to know uh here's the coin market cap that's good to know so they kind of got that stuff set up, set up for you. I want to go back to the thing for a second and let's listen into this. I got my headset in here. So this is a one minute. So let's just see what they have to say. When you posted Mr. Miggles afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going <laughs> viral. And at first it was fun, but then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. 
And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. All right, so this actually, take these off now that I don't need to listen to that video anymore. So this actually might not be the meme coin that I thought it was. It's funny, it's obviously got a meme that's got good advertising here. So one thing with any sorts of coins or stuff, and there's a site called Lunar Crush, it's actually a page site now. It'll show you the amount of social power that something's getting tweeted about all the time. So we could go to Mr. Miggles here and go to this hashtag and see uh, Coinbase is talking about it. Base is obviously talking about it. Seven hours ago is the last time. Let's look at, oh, let's go to the latest. So 28 seconds ago, we got a Mr. Miggles, 36 seconds. So there's a lot of sites currently talking about it on Twitter. If you were to go to Lunar Crush and pay, it'll show you the social element. But one thing that does it, that we need to like, um, and I'll just pause it here on the, on something. Picture, let's find a big picture of Mr. Miggles. Is like, this is fun, right? This is a fun picture of a cat and people can relate to posting cats online. So this is actually decent advertising. Now, listening to the video, if this is actually a token on chain and they're talking about ownership and tracking on the blockchain and maybe NFTs and stuff, that is the future. A lot of people um, think of NFTs as like the board apes and, you know, they're like trading cards where you buy it and it's art. And if it goes up and it goes down and people are making it and getting scammed. but like this commercial said, imagine you took something, you made a meme or you took a photo and you put it online. And when you put it online, it was key coded. And sure, people could screen grab it, but if they wanted to actually use it for merchandise and stuff on the chain, they'd have to get a piece of that. In order to get a piece of that, they pay you a small fee. So the idea of an NFT is to prove ownership, either through art, or a house or something like that. And then if you could scan the chain, if you could scan the internet, if you could scan the metaverse that it's on, you'd be able to see who has ownership or not. Or when they want to use that photo, they would put a code in, they would pay a little fee for the owner of that. And every time somebody clicked on that or viewed it or used it, they would get a fee. So if that actually is starting to solve that problem, this may not be the meme coin that I thought it was. Um, and I mean, the excitement that I got from this funny cat, can you imagine? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm guessing that there's people that are much more excitable than me. Look at this. So let's go through the site. They have a nice site here to, to coerce people in or coax them in. It's very clean. These are very funny. They tell you what to do. So if you, how to use it, how to buy it. These are all the sites that it's currently listed on and they'll probably add more. Um, so if you wanted to buy some, you would click buy now. Let's see where this takes me to. Yes, I understand. So it's on Uniswap. So here's the thing now, if, if you followed this and you saw the cat thing and you're on Twitter or whatever, you want to buy something, you would go to Uniswap, right? And then when people want to buy that, they need to be here. These tokens have to be here. You would be providing the liquidity for them. Every time there's a transfer, you get a little bit, a piece of that fee on Uniswap. And if we go back to the beefy, you can see here up top, it's on the base chain and the platform is Uniswap. And if you buy it here, They'll do the trading for you through this little thing, this little zap it feature here. I forget what the name is. Or you could go on Uniswap Direct, look at their pools, and 
how do you explore their pools here and you would type in you know in your pools here and you're going to type in mr miggles i wonder what the what the thing is for it's not miggles with wrapped heath huh Oh, because it's on the base chain. All right. So there it is. So there's the ETH Mr. Miggles. There's a couple of them here. I won't get too in-depth, but this is the percentage of the fees that you would get out. So here's a 1% one. Here's a 0.31 on the version 2. And then these have different values locked. So this 2.2 million one is the one here on... Um, on this platform, because we can go down here and look at the, the where did I see the locked value? Oh, total locked value, 2.2 .2 million up here. 250 of that is on Beefy, but the rest is on that Mr. Miggle site. And for some reason, you could just see it just dropped from 2.2 .2 to 2.18. So there was some, there was some pulled out. Anyways, so this is get a little bit deeper. So let's go back to this Mr. Miggle site here. Um, where do we want to go? All right, so we we'll go back to Mr. Miggles, and you want to go to their website, which I'm off that I'm off of, and they should have what's called. A when you posted Mr. Board. Miggles' afternoon snack, Basically he got lots of love, but then yeah, Miggles started popping. When you posted Mr. Chart. Miggles. Let's see the chart. So this is just bringing you to the Dex, the Dex screener. When you posted Mr. Miggles' about. afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Born. This is just a more storyline of Mr. Miggles. We don't want that. We want the hot players. When you posted Mr. Miggles, Miggles' afternoon hard. snack, he got yeah, lots of so love. But then people. Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral, and at first it was fun, but then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles! They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. This is a meme coin. You'll get a when you posted game, Mr. Miggles' afternoon PDF snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral, and at first it was fun, but then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles! They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles! They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles, and he could get paid directly. 
And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggle's afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggle started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggle's was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say, making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick, using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles couldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. 
But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles, and he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles. And he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. 
They used his content to boost their algorithms. Mickles drove the traffic, but Mickles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Mickles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Mickles, and he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun. But then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles, and he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first it was fun, but then it kept going. They were making Mr. Miggles say things Mr. Miggles wouldn't say. Making Mr. Miggles lick things Mr. Miggles wouldn't lick. Using Mr. Miggles to sell things that Mr. Miggles wouldn't sell. And guess who reaped the rewards? Not Mr. Miggles. They used his content to boost their algorithms. Miggles drove the traffic, but Miggles missed the income. And the internet that should reward making things totally sidelines the creators who make it possible. But if Miggles had started out on chain, then he could control his content. And everyone could know that he is the real Mr. Miggles, and he could get paid directly. And isn't that what it should be? An internet by creators for creators that rewards the creators who create the creative creations we love. When you posted Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Miggles started popping up in other places. Mr. Miggles was going viral. And at first... Miggles is. I don't think that this is an investment that I'll be getting into. But I thought it might be good, funny strategy to Mr. Miggles you. The Coinbase cat mascot. And on our way out, why don't we... Why don't we Mr. Mickles one time? This is not a paid advertisement or anything. I have no affiliation with uh, with the Mickles, but let's go full screen. When you posted Mr. Mickles afternoon snack, he got lots of love. But then Mickles started popping up in other places. This is crazy. Mr. Mickles was going viral. You know and I at first it was fun. This is but then it came. Because a lot of times with these coins... If there's a Mr. Miggles, there's a Mrs. Miggles now because it's a, um, because these meme coins, would it be Miss Miggles or Mrs. Miggles? What if I just type in Miggles, see what comes up. Mr. Miggles, M Mr. Miggles with a, a soul and then baby Miggles. Yeah, so this is how they're trying to get. So this is turned into. Where does this take you? Oh, it's the when same you posted thing. Mr. Miggles' afternoon snack, right. he got lots of. Anyways, there's no. When there isn't a white paper, there's no business plan or whatever. They have the cute video, they have the stuff. This is something that I would keep in the back of my mind. Meme coin people are going to make a lot of money off this, and meme coin people are going to lose a lot of money off of this. So if you're going to take your risk, you're going to take your risk. But hopefully. Me just showing you like that you can go from uh, you know beefy.com checking out stable coins by sorting on here, going to the actual site and seeing what it would look like, pulling up the website and like checking it out to see if it looks legitimate, see if they have 
papers and stuff. And I don't know if Mr. Miggles is associated with Coinbase or not. Um, says the App Store browser extension, Coinbase. So you, so they're being traded on Coinbase, but that doesn't mean anything. You can see that they have the contract located. You can go here and chart it yourself and see what you think the tops and the bottom would be. I'm actually going to put a line here, uh, horizontal line of the last time I looked at it. So I remember that. And then you can look up at a Coinbase and see the patterns with Mr. Miggles. And then you can go over pool swap, uh, poolfish.xyz and calculate what the fees would be based on how much money you put in there, how much you would make in fees based on the range you did, if that stuck and how many days and stuff. Um, but you wanna do your own research and check all this stuff out. If you like videos like this, please comment below for me to make more videos like this. I'm gonna to try to start putting this stuff up on a daily basis. This is Dave Wright, The Capitalist's YouTube, but I also have a philosophy channel at Dave Wright, The Thinker. I'd love for you to follow me at both. Uh, you can go to DaveWrightTheThinker.com. You can go to the search buttons there and type in topics that you're interested in. I have crypto stuff on there. I have personal stuff. I have relationship stuff on there. I have money mindset. I just have knowing thyself. I have... Uh, stuff about how to dissect all the craziness that's going on in the news and politics or whatever. But if you're not into that stuff, that's fine. Don't go over there. Just stay here. We're going to be talking Amazon seller accounts. We're going to be talking crypto and crypto DeFi. We're gonna, I'm going to start another podcast with my friend Dalton Lee Pruitt, who's a comedian and great guy. And we're going to talk about how we have the idiot investors. We're going to talk about blockchain and everything from start to finish. Get it, Go deeper into stuff like this. I'm going to do Amazon reviews. I'm going to show you my Amazon review store. I don't know. I have I have a lot, a lot, a lot that I have planned for this. I just want to see. I wonder if this site is still active or it's not active anymore. So, okay. Thank you again for your time. Peace.